Without experience handling a firearm, even at a gun range, buying your first handgun or determining what defines the best for a first-time gun buyer can be truly overwhelming. The array of gun styles, brands, calibers, and even basic questions like pistol versus revolver versus semi-automatic pistol are tough to navigate. Many beginners make their selection based on things like looks or familiarity from movies, all without thinking about what would actually be the most effective handgun for a first-time gun owner. In this video, we're going to explore a few important gun criteria, such as caliber, ammo, size, ergonomics, price, and safety features, to arm you with everything that you need to understand when it comes to selecting your first firearm. When we combine all the critical considerations we've successfully winnowed down the massive list of potential beginner handgun choices to ones we think offer the right mix of proven performance and approachability. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 8. The Springfield Armory Hellcat The Hellcat's frame features a stippled adaptive grip texture that makes the gun stick to the hand like glue. In addition, the gun's beaver grip ensures a higher grip position that prevents the muzzle from rising during recoil. These two features make the Hellcat easier to wield when fired. Additionally, its trigger comes with a safety blade and has a pull weight of about 5 pounds and 7 ounces. This trigger safety makes shooting speedier and more precise. As for the trigger reset, it improves the beginner shooter's recovery time. Although the Hellcat is a micro handgun, Springfield Armory opted to incorporate a full-sized rail into the firearm's design. This helps the beginner shooter with sighting their target, which improves their accuracy. The Springfield Armory Hellcat's adaptive grip texture is a one-of-a-kind feature for beginners who want a gun that handles well. The gun's trigger safety blade also makes it a great option for beginner shooters who want to achieve speed and accuracy as quickly as possible. Number 7. Heckler & Koch VP9 Another striker-fired handgun worth considering for home defense is the Heckler & Koch VP9. The VP stands for Volkspistole, or People's Pistol, denoting its user-friendliness and popularity. While Glock is widely regarded as the first firm to introduce a commercially successful striker-fired polymer-framed high-capacity handgun, the Heckler & Koch VP70 predated Glock's emergence on the firearms scene by more than a decade. Production began in 2014. The VP9 is a continuation of the tradition that HK pioneered 50 years ago. Chambered in 9x19mm Parabellum and fed from a 15 or 20 round attachable box magazine. The VP9 is short recoil operated using a modified Browning system. Ambidextrous controls include HK's famous paddle magazine release, activated by either index finger without breaking the firing grip. Featuring aggressive charging serrations in the front and rear of the slide, HK has also incorporated what the company calls charging supports. These are two horizontal projections that increase gripping surface on the slide. Number 6. FN 509 Fabrique National Herstel, or simply FN, submitted a handgun design derived from the FNS into the Modular Handgun System competition. While not successful in being adopted by the U.S. Army U.S. Air Force as a replacement for the Beretta M9, FN wasn't demoralized by this experience and further developed the design. The result of its hard work is an effective tactical handgun for self-defense, competition shooting, and law enforcement, the FN 509. The 509 is a double-action, striker-fired, semi-automatic pistol fed from a 10, 17, or 24-round magazine available in either black or flat dark earth. Spanning several variants such as the standard, compact MRD, midsize, midsize MRD, tactical, and compact tactical, there's a 509 for every application. Use it for concealed carry, competition, or law enforcement, and even military service. Standing for miniature red dot, the MRD denotes optics compatibility, which means the FN509 slides are cut to accept adapter plates for different reflector sights. FN didn't forget about left-handed shooters either, and every variant has ambidextrous controls, including the push-button magazine release and slide-stop lever. If you're interested in attaching a suppressor, the tactical and compact tactical ship with threaded muzzles and thread protectors. Number 5. The CZ-75B Considered by many to be the metal-framed alternative to the Glock, the CZ-75B is a relatively inexpensive, all-steel, hammer-fired semi-automatic handgun designed in Chechia, or the Czech Republic, and introduced in 1975. 
Initially intended to be an export-only weapon, the CZ-75 became an international success and the most popular handgun in its homeland. Using a variant of the Browning short recoil system, the CZ-75 is a double-action, single-action handgun fed from a 16-round staggered feed or double-stack magazine. A unique feature of the CZ-75 is that it has a manual safety that allows it to be carried in condition one, which means cocked and locked. The pistol is carried with a round in the chamber and the hammer cocked and with the safety on. As the gun is drawn from its holster, the safety is disengaged with the thumb, enabling single-action consistency shot to shot. In the B variant, CZ incorporated a firing pin safety. Blocking the firing pin until the trigger is deliberately squeezed renders the CZ-75B drop safe and guards against accidental discharges. However, the CZ-75 has an advantage over single-action-only handguns such as the 1911 and striker-fired handguns such as the Glock. The CZ-75 has a second strike capability. If you experience a light primer strike or the slide doesn't enter battery immediately, you can simply squeeze the trigger again to cock and release the hammer. A second hammer blow may be all that's required to either fire the cartridge or send the slide home. Number 4. The Taurus G3 While we don't recommend going with the cheapest gun you find, we are comfortable in recommending this very budget-friendly Taurus G3 if you're on a very tight budget. This gun is a great value for the money. You get a reliable 9mm handgun with great capacity. This would be good for home defense, but I would avoid it for concealed carry. If you want to also carry your firearm and still need a cheap handgun, I would go with the G3C. Just make sure you also spend some money on training and practice ammo. While I would personally save up to $100 to $200 more for a higher quality gun, I don't fault anyone who just doesn't have it in their budget and needs a home defense weapon. Number 3. The Glock 19 the Glock 19, introduced in 1988, is the subcompact variant of the Austrian firm's famous Glock 17. Adopted by the Austrian Army in 1982 as the P80, the Glock is a polymer frame striker fired recoil operated semi automatic handgun. Striker fired means the firing pin is driven forward by its spring rather than a hammer blow. Known for its simple, rugged exterior, which is colored in black with a rectangular slide, and legendary reliability, the Glock has become one of the world's most popular handgun designs. While there's a wide variety of Glock handguns to choose from in every caliber from 380 ACP to 10mm auto, and in every configuration you can think of, the G19 is the most versatile and suitable for beginners. As a general purpose handgun, the Glock 19 is more compact and prints less than the 17, so it's often regarded as preferable for concealed carry. Printing refers to the handgun forming an outline through clothing, disclosing that you are actually carrying a gun. This is something you want to avoid if discretion is your aim. It's only 2.21 ounces less than its full-size counterpart when loaded. It's the reduction in weight and length that contribute to its status as the ideal carrier duty weapon. However, one of the reasons the Model 19 is on this list, and not the more diminutive G26 or the single-stack G43, is that you have to sacrifice controllability and magazine capacity as you reduce weight and height. While the Glock 26 holds 10 rounds and the 43 holds 6, the Glock 19 supplies 15 rounds of 9x19mm Luger ammunition in a relatively concealable package that few shooters have difficulty managing. That's why the 19 is commonly issued to law enforcement officers and makes a great home defense weapon for private citizens. Number 2. The Sig Sauer P320 Often compared to the venerable Glock 19, the Sig P320 pistol is a very usable handgun with top-notch construction, fantastic stock trigger, comfortable grip ergonomics, and surprising mag capacity all wrapped up in a lightweight, easily adjustable package. The Sig Sauer P320 also fires a standard 9mm round, which is ideal for new shooters and beginners, making for a handgun which is incredibly easy to shoot. It's a little more expensive being from Sig Sauer, but it stands out as an exceptional starter pistol for most people. In our four rounds of testing, we considered a number of different 9mm pistols and think that the Sig Sauer P320 is a great choice when it comes to a striker-fired semi-automatic pistol. It's the best 9mm handgun for experienced shooters and beginners alike. It's a battle-tested, customizable, polymer frame pistol that should fit the bill with a variety of applications and is priced very competitively when compared to handguns with similar options, generally a little over $500. The Sig Sauer P320 pistol is also intuitive to use, has recoil that's easy to manage, and loaded with useful features such as a tool-free breakdown, making it easy to clean, and an ambidextrous grip. It fires standard 9mm rounds, which is one of our criteria for beginner guns due to the approachability of that particular caliber. It's also made by a gun company that people trust and have an excellent reputation for handguns. 
Number 1. S&W M&P 2.0 Smith & Wesson M&P M2.0 pistol, the newest in M&P for military and police, polymer pistol line is designed for a variety of users, from personal concealed carry, sporting, and professional gun use. We really like the M&P 2.0 in all its variants, as it has found itself on our list of best overall 9mm handguns, concealed carry pistol recommendations, and our subcompact 9mm list. It's a great handgun, and not just for seasoned shooters. It's easy to handle, feels comfortable in the hand, has a sturdy grip that gives first-time users confidence, has Smith & Wesson's smooth trigger pull, and offers a solid magazine capacity of 17 plus 1. It's been a staple law enforcement pistol for years, and the 2.0 is largely unchanged in terms of dimensions from the original Smith & Wesson M&P. This means your holsters, accessory, and even magazines will work with the M2.0. If you've considered an M&P gun in the past and haven't pulled the trigger for this new 2.0 version, it would be a worthy firearm for sure. So which beginner handgun are you going to get? Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.